the chief author of the bill, Senator Herb. Thank you, Mr. President. And before I make my concluding remark, I want to make personal comment, um, and it's relevant. There's many issues in this bill, but we spend length, lengthy of time talking about preventing or eradicating the invasive car coming up the Mississippi River. And today, I'm glad that Senator Hoffman and I, 10 years ago, seek to improve the name. Uh, little that we know that 10 years later, I will be the chair of the Environment and Natural com com uh, Committee. And 10 years ago, when we changed the name, it takes less than a minute for us to pass from the floor. So we, I never had the chance to explain why. And I know that the, the senators then were very understanding. Less than a minute, everybody understanding that we need, need to name the CARP with the smart way, the proper way, so we don't get confused between whether we're talking about a, a group of people or the fish. You know, so if people make mistake and use their own name, personally, I will not get insulted. Or personally, I will not get offended. I will not be fierce, and folks of Asian descent will not be fierce about it. But it just more precisely whether we talk about a group of people or fish. Just imagine there's only three general race in this world. Just put the same equation, the same name with a Caucasian Negro in front of fish. That would sound funny too. You know, so today it's a testimony when we had lengthy discussion and we then went to oddity where we laugh at something that sounds funny, but we have a civilized conversation that improve our legislation. And imagine that should it went the opposite way and the invasive car come to up the river, that folks uh, don't turn into a sport where they're trying to eradicate with baseball bat and or some sort and then name it differently that could be misinterpreted. And that was the reason why we, Senator Hoffman and I and many of you that were here then help us to, to improve the name. And while the anti-Asian hate, the COVID-19 was happening and the label COVID-19 to attach with Asian descent, the Council of Asian Pacific America in DC said that we had made a smart choice 10 years ago. And so today I'm glad that we had this testimony. I'm sure folk listening out there on my remark might be laughing or maybe still looking for a way to bully Senator Hoffman and I on the radio, but there's, that's their business. My business and our business is not to bully other people or laugh at other people as long as I, as I that. So I thought I'd make this personal remark. And um, now back to the business at hand. The business at hand is I want to thank all of you um, uh, senators for spending a very lengthy of time in this uh, uh, House file 2310. And I want to thank uh, my vice chair, uh, Senator McEwen. I also want to thank uh, Senator, our ranking minority member, Senator Justin Icorn. You, know, you spoke very kindly of me. And Senator Kelly Morrison, thank you, Senator John Hoffman. Senator Mary Kunish, Senator Grant Hao Chow, and Senator Nathan Wiesenberg, Senator An Andrew Lane, and Senator Steve Green. I also want to thank uh, committee staff, like Mr. Ben Stanley, the Senate Counsel, Mr. Dan Mueller, fiscal a analyst, and my staff, uh, my committee administrator, Carla. Josephson and my committee legislative assistant, Mike Alvu, Cassie Tamadov, our DFL researcher, as well as GOP researcher, Greg Axley, and committee page, Claire, Marcus, and Natalie, and Taylor Jefferson, support staff for our Senate Council, and this year our intern. Um, 
Mr. Deshaun and Mr. Griffin for um, being part of the team. So that's my thank you. Now, members, this bill could have been better, but is as good as we could in our current Senate position. I am pleased that this bill that protect, I'm glad, I'm pleased that this is the bill that protects Minnesota from pollution. We included a community and impacts analysis requirement that take into account the harmful effects of our air, the air that we breathe and ban toxic PFAD from consumer product beginning 2025. My condolence to the loss of Amara Stan, a leader who has been a strong fighter to get rid of PFAS. Even in her frail and tiring look, she determined to come and testify here with her family and warn us about the harm that she suffered for years from the forever chemical. So may she rests in peace and farewell, young one. We'll continue the fight for you. This bill also being responsible steward of our natural resources and environment. Our budget improved the environment by planting new tre tree over the lost tree by Emmer Ashbor remove invasive species like invasive card and curtailing the spread of CWD in our deer population. This bill is good investment to our outdoor spaces that we cherish for our families by improving and upgrading our environment and outdoor facility. It's not a bill that will solve all things, but its language care for many things, especially human health, wildlife, our environment, and natural resources. It's a bill as good as it get, yet it is a good bill. So members, I ask for your green vote. Thank you.